Retrosynthetic Analysis. This is working backwards to do chemical synthesis. Just as if you would want to draw up plans before building a house, with chemical synthesis, first thing you want to do is have an image of the structure of the molecule that you're trying to synthesize. Then it's a matter of identifying one bond in that product molecule and saying to yourself, do I know how to make that bond? And then you combine multiple steps of this until you get back to your starting material. So let's synthesize this molecule. This is an ether. Its longest carbon chain has one, two, three, four, five. And then there's an ethoxy group on it. So, one ethoxy pentane. We know how to make that bond, and we know how to make that bond through SN2 attack. So, the substrate that we could use would be 1-bromopentane. The nucleophile that we would use would be sodium ethoxide. And then let's just check our mechanism. Here is the ethoxide performing nucleophilic attack on the alpha carbon of the alkyl halide, which exceeds its octet, and thus we get loss of a leaving group as well. And there we have our product. We could also do this using an alkyl chloride or an alkyl iodide. We chose bromide, but essentially what we did is very similar to this. Again, nucleophilic attack, loss of a leaving group, and we have our product. Is there some other combination of substrate and nucleophile that we could use to get the same product? So another way besides the one that's highlighted. Pause it, work it, and then resume to see the answer. So again, we've already used answer choice B. So what's the other one? And we're trying to make one ethoxypentane. Now, with answer choice B, we made this bond. So is there a way to make this bond? we're going to need to use an alkoxide that has five carbons and an alkyl halide that has two. Which looks like answer choice E. Five carbon alkoxide and a two carbon alkyl halide. And so our curved arrows, we'd have nucleophilic attack and loss of a leaving group. Can we make this ester ethyl ethanoate by nucleophilic attack? Typically, an acidic esterification is recommended, but using an alkyl halide and the conjugate base of a carboxylic acid, we should be able to make this work. So, for the substrate, well, 
the bond we're going to be making is here. This portion of the molecule comes from our substrate, and this portion of the molecule comes from our nucleophile. So our substrate has to have two carbons. It's not A. Ah, it's D. So now, what nucleophile are we going to use? Remember, our substrate is ethyl bromide. What nucleophile are we going to put to attack it here and form this bond? What nucleophile looks like this? The answer is C. So here we have nucleophilic attack and loss of a leaving group. To give this which is the same as ethylethanoate. Say we are trying to make an alkene. What combination of substrate and reagent would we use? Well, we know how to make an alkene by doing an elimination reaction on an alkyl halide. The question then becomes, which combination of alkyl halide and base would give us this particular regiochemistry. So this is a little more difficult I recommend that you just look at the outcome of each combination of substrate and reagent. Pause your video, work each outcome, and then resume it. Answer choice A, strong base. E2, gives us this product, right? We have methyl group, methyl group, methyl group, methyl group on either side of the double bond. Answer choice B. Here's your alpha carbon. This beta carbon doesn't have any protons, so we're going to have to take from one of these nucleophilic attack, or rather proton transfer, and loss of a leaving group. For answer choice C, again, there's only one beta proton, or only one beta carbon that has protons, rather. So we're going to do our proton transfer and formation of a pi bond and loss of a leaving group.
Now for answer choice D, we have two beta positions that have protons. So, which one are we going to take? Well, our base is tert butoxide, which happens to be very uh, bulky, so it's going to go after the less substituted beta position here. And so then, going back and comparing to what we were trying to make, that looks like answer choice C.